Hi guys, welcome here again to another news. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're listening from. Still on the issue of insecurity in Nigeria. It's unfortunate that the way insecurity is skyrocketing in this country, the way it is improving day by day, you would think it is something good. Now, terrorists have killed four mobile policemen and three others in President Buhari's home state. They did not just kill ordinary person, but policemen, four mobile policemen and three others in Buhari's home state. Can you just imagine if Nigerian security operatives could be killed at ease? Then tell me, what does the Nigerian civilians have to protect themselves against these deadly terrorists well let's go into the full details of the news and see how and where it actually happened according to the news gunmen suspected to be bandits have killed four mobile policemen and three civilians at katikawa community kankara local government area of castina state some reporters gathered that the incident occurred on Wednesday evening. The policemen stationed at a checkpoint in the community were on special duty from Kano State Command. Castina, despite being the home state of President Mohamed Buhari, has witnessed sporadic attacks by bandits and kidnappers that have claimed the lives of many. Over 2,000 people have been reportedly killed by the gunmen in Jibia, Kankara, Totsima, Musawa, Dan Musa, and Safana local governments, area of the state, and in the last one year. The latest incident is coming a few weeks after terrorist attacks the area commander of the Dotsima Police Area Command in the state, Aminu Umar. Umar, an assistant police commissioner, was killed alongside one other officer. You know, one other officer. You can just imagine people being killed at ease despite the fact that they are policemen and it all happened in the president's home state and yet he could do nothing about it. This is how we are going to continue to live our lives. This is so unfortunate. You know, I'm sure most people are blaming themselves of being a Nigerian. Some people will say, why can't I just be, you know, a UK citizen? Why can't I just come from Canada? I can't, why can't I just be an American? Being a Nigerian is a disaster. With all these things that is happening, being a Nigeria is a disaster. What is your thought to this? So, despite the fact that Kastina is the president, you know, is the president's home state, you, as a normal person, cannot travel to the president's home state, even if that's where you come from because of fear of possible attacks. What is your thought to this? Even if the president is not doing anything to any state, but not like his own state, his own state should be the most in those secured and safe states in Nigeria, but we can say the president's home state is one of the worst states being attacked by this terrorist. And when you look at it, you can see that it is intentional. They are intentionally visiting presidential home states, the president's home state. What is your thoughts to this to let them know that the president has no power over them? Because ever since they have been attacking his home state, killing over thousands of people now, he could not do anything. Oh, like it, let us know your own thoughts to this. Like to share your own reaction with us via the comment section. But before we go, let's see people's reactions to this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Aluchi. Inabuke reacted and said, I hope you people are calculating the total number of people who have died since the reign of Buhari. Those killed by Boko Haram, those killed by bandits, 
unknown gunmen, NSAS, Edsmen, Blasphemy, Military Helicopter, Military themselves, and even the Department of State Service, DSS, and Esoteria. Compile the names, then compare with countries fighting war and check the difference. What is your thought of this? We've just had what has been said by Oluchi saying that these names need to be compiled because looking at the countries that are fighting war, calculate their losses and calculate the loss we've you know compiled in Nigeria. I mean those killed by Boko Haram under Buhari's regime, those killed by bandits, the unknown gunmen, the hand sass protest, those ones killed by Edsmen, those ones killed all because of blasphemy, you know, mistakenly shot dead by the military helicopter, you know, being killed by a stray bullet by the military, and even the DSS calculate all these losses together and let's compare it to the result of a country fighting war. What is your thought to this? This is unbelievable, you know, to have all these things happening in Castina State. Paul Adijum also reacted and said, Buhari should quickly retire and return to Castina where he can enjoy the peaceful country he has fostered. What is your thought to this? Buhari brought all these things upon Nigeria. There's no time, there's no you know, cause beating around the bush. The straight point is that Buhari caused all this. He brought upon Nigerians all this. He brought upon Nigeria itself all this that is happening. And now she is lamenting. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction to this brand development? Some people might even be wondering were the policemen not busy collecting money from motorists when they were shot? What is your thought to this? The terrorists are not concerned about where the bullet hits you. All they know is that they are shooting sporadically. What is your thought to this? We we'll just hope that in no time all these things will become things of the past. I will have a wonderful country of which we have been longing for because all these disheartening incidents cannot continue to happen. It's so heartbreaking to see, you know, the president's home state being attacked by terrorists and yet nothing can be done ever since it has been you know it has been attacked nobody has ever been arrested for that we just hope that something tangible will be done come 2023 to select a leader who is number one priority will be the safety of lives and properties of nigerians i would like you to let us know your own point of view today thank you guys for listening to subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on other news bye for now